You know, Sheldon J. Plankton sure does love boasting about his college-level intellect. He basically drives it into whatever conversation he can. I mean, it's even his first line of dialogue ever. Hear me, Krabs. When I discover your formula for Krabby Patties, I'll run you out of business. I went to college! He never seems to actually elaborate on it, though. So, I propose to you, that sexy person behind the screen, what is Plankton's college major, and where did he get it? Did he graduate, drop out, what level of study as well? Let's define a college education real quick. For the purposes of making my research laughably easy and poorly thought out, we are only going to focus on the good old United States of America. According to this Wikipedia article I found, the US uses the International Standard Classification of Education, or ISCED, which is maintained by the United Nations Education, Scientific, and Cultural Organization, or UNESCO. They lay out some pretty simple stages. Levels 0 to 4 are for early child education, primary and secondary education. 5 to 8 is the range we want. Level 5 is a bit unique, it's more focused on utility and specifics for a select career. So basically trade schools. Stuff like being a plumber, electrician, HVAC, automotive stuff, and more. These are also known as jobs that will probably pay more than whatever you're working with right now, even with a college education. We'll come back to this one. Level 6 to 8 is your bachelor, master, or doctorate. You are probably most familiar with bachelors. Now, if you are like me and are unceremoniously stupid, you are going to say, but be tan. I thought a master's and doctorate are like, you know, the same thing. And I'd say, huh, that's weird. A master's is more of an in-depth look into your field, while a doctorate is more research and critical analysis focused. I'm gonna be honest, just by this definition, I think we could probably rule out a doctorate from Plankton. He doesn't seem like the kind of copepod to write papers, especially considering he's smaller than a pencil used to write them, so we are left with level 6 to 7. Level 5 could work, but I think with just the sheer variety of stuff Plankton does, I don't think he's specific to one type of trade. So I'm going to rule it out, but I can see an argument for selecting this option. To make this video more fun, and longer so I can place mid-roll ads, I'm going to choose a complete master's. So we are looking at around 6 years of total education. Great! Plankton is a bit of a renaissance man, or fish, or plankton. He has a surprisingly vast amount of activities and hobbies. His main career, if you can even call it that, is the chum bucket. I think we can already safely rule out any kind of culinary major for very obvious reasons. I mean, he even gives food poisoning to others and has literally sent a guy to the hospital. Law. While this is a good thought, you have to recall that Plankton only displayed skill as a complete and utter fraud. He got defeated by the guy whose defense was putting money in a blender. Psychology. There could be some merit to this one. Dr. Peter Langton, in Season 4's Fear of a Krabby Patty, apparently is certified and specialized in Krabby Patty phobias, which to me implies a greater degree in psych with a special path for Krabby trauma. But this point is null, as this is Dr. Peter Langton. I'm getting really tired of people getting these two confused. First, remember, I said no doctorate. And second, notice the beard and absolutely amazing fit? I mean, yeah, sure, they might be small in stature, but honestly, that's kind of racist. Shame on you. Therapy doesn't really work! Urban planning slash architecture. I considered this, but when examining Planktopolis, I think it's pretty clear he has no skill. I mean, I feel like I could plan a city better just by watching City Skylines tutorials. And for architecture, I, uh, I don't think he has the willpower to survive that. By the way, if you are in architecture right now, you have my genuine sympathy. Dear Neptune, I hope you're okay. An argument could be made for some kind of military application, but I doubt Plankton would actually want to join any kind of military. He does have some experience with army-like munitions, such as planes or a pickle-firing tank, but I think that's likely more of a personal hobby than anything. Marine biology? Definitely not. Animation? Laughably no. Could you even imagine combining these? Sounds like such a horrible and stupid and completely unprofitable idea. You'd have to be crazy to do this. That leaves us with engineering. Plankton has an incredible lab and workshop to prototype ideas. He makes multiple mechs and vehicles, which takes an insane level of electronic skill, as well as sets of welding, robotics, and more. Computer engineering slash computer science. While they are very different, grouping them makes this way easier. Plankton uses computers a ton. 
He's been shown to be good at wiring and overall circuit design. I mean, he even made his wife, so he has to have some kind of experience with artificial intelligence, and he can easily pump them out, like replacement Karens or nearly endless amounts of robots in the video games. While this one can work, I feel like it would lead Plankton instead to just working a very soul-crushing job he hates, like that one poor fish from Doing Time. He just really doesn't strike me as the kind of guy to want to work at some boring office cubicle job. Biotechnology. Maybe not your first guess, but I think it has some merit. This is all about genetic structure and the science and applications of it. Let's see. He has grown himself an entire new eye and has developed and hopefully patented a literal brain control device that you plug in to operate. He also has machines that change one state to a gas and can even be put in a tank or glass. If we want to combine the computer science stuff from earlier, he also has a machine that operates on a living creature's brain and shows a developing personality. Automotive engineering. Probably not, but it is interesting to note how Plankton makes or designs vehicles. Many times we have seen him make his own transportation, such as with his chum bucket fist. We don't even see a thruster or any kind of acceleration device, so he's especially good at hiding unnecessary elements. He's even familiar with historic design, as he quickly adapted to the ancient Atlantean tanks and learned their strengths and weaknesses. Namely that the ammo is ice cream. While this could technically work, I think it's a rather dumb and pointless idea. Plankton's ambitions clearly lie elsewhere, and I don't even know if automotive engineering counts for boats. Mechanical slash electrical engineering. Apologies to those in both of these fields, but I lumped them together for convenience. I think this is by far the most authentic major for Plankton. Both fields are about design. Mechanical has a ton of uses such as manufacturing, generators, turbines, transportation systems, thermodynamics, and more. While on its own, it doesn't really fit for Plankton's inventions, but combine this with electrical engineering and it connects really well. Communication systems, power generation, microwaves, optics, radio and frequency, and circuits. Circuits. Did I mention that both of these feature robotics? Which is hands down Plankton's specialty. He has made all manner of different bots, from colossal mechs to perfect replicas of bikini bottom citizens, alongside many, many war machines, to a literal time traveling device with remote start, multiple times. It really is puzzling that Plankton just doesn't sell his ideas to the Bikini Bottom military, as they could dearly benefit from it. And before you put it in the comments, yeah, I know there was an episode about this, just, just ignore it. For this video, we're going to go with the idea that Bikini Bottom is located under Bikini Atoll. Since we are sticking with the US, the closest thing is going to be Hawaii, featuring the University of Hawaii at Manoa. Both degrees we need? Check. Great visuals? Check. Before we finalize, let's check out some more. Around 19,000 students with an average in-state tuition of $11,304. Special note goes to the alumni, as fan favorite character Barack Obama actually graduated from here. I do have to detract points though for its size. 320 acres is nice, but when you are smaller than a shoe, it's going to feel like a labyrinth. We also have to consider cost. Considering Plankton's rather large family, it's safe to say he would have struggled with money, which is also what friend or foe shows us. With that and the knowledge that Hawaii is one of if not the most expensive states to live in, this is a tough choice. It also doesn't help that students here are apparently in the top 5 running for least happy college students, which uh, man, definitely tanks most of the points here. Next up we have Cornell University. Now, I know this isn't Hawaiian at all, and trust me, I have a very very good reason for doing this. This is in New York. For some odd reason, my highest audience is New Yorkian, doubling basically everything else. Is this a complete sellout move? Yes! Cornell features our major requirements, has 15,000 students and sadly a 745 acre size. Cornell, as being situated in New York, also doesn't benefit from the traffic basically stopping you from driving a lot. It also isn't the best that when I search up the school, I find some interesting statements and images. So unless Plankton is into some kinky stuff. Cornell probably is not for him. Well, what does that leave us with? We've now exhausted every single college in the United States, and clearly Plankton is not a fan of extended travel, so foreign colleges are definitely a no-go. If only there was one college, one that fit everything we needed, one that didn't discriminate you based on height or goals of developing unmanned weaponry. It doesn't need to be prestigious or even Ivy League, it just, it just needs to work. But what is there? Every college seems to have a ton of issues. I don't even think there's a good choice for him. Unless...
enter Squidward Community College, where the clock of evolution ticks backwards. Boasting an insanely impressive variety of topics, SCC is the perfect choice not just for Plankton, but also for you. Boasting a truly fantastic design and user experience, it's never been easier to find out what you want. Their top-of-the-line website allows us to find a ton of history, such as their machine learning program, or when they transition to fully online classes. And in their 80th anniversary, they reveal the college was founded on a government grant to, and I quote, research biological weapons during World War II. If this isn't the perfect college, I don't know what is. We have our major, and we have our college. So, with complete certainty, I can tell you that Sheldon J. Plankton majored in mechanical and electrical engineering at Squidward Community College. He learned valuable skills, mostly those relating to weaponry, automated weaponry, robotic weaponry, and calculus. I explained it and gave an answer. Come on, what, what, what's going on? Why, why is there still time on the, the, the bar at the bottom? He does have some experience with army-like munitions, such as planes or a pickle-firing tank, but I think that's likely more of a personal uh, hobby than anything. He also has machines no, that change no, one state no, to a gas no, no, and can no, even no, be put in a no. tank or glass. He's even familiar with historic design, as he quickly adapted to the ancient Atlantean tanks and learned their strengths and weaknesses. It also doesn't help that students here are apparently in the top five running for least happy college students, which, uh, man, definitely tanks most of the points here. But this point is null, as this is Dr. Peter no, Plankton. It, it really is puzzling that Plankton just doesn't sell his ideas to the Bikini Bottom military. They reveal the college Tank. was founded on a Tank. government grant Tank. too, and I quote, research biological weapons during World War II. Cornell, as being situated in New York, also Tank? doesn't benefit from the traffic basically stopping you from driving a lot. He just drive, really doesn't drive strike me Tank. as the kind of World guy to work for some cool Tank. office Tank. cubicle job. Tank. You know, Sheldon J. Plankton sure does love boasting about his college-level intellect. He basically drives it into whatever conversation he can. Plankton really enjoyed filming this scene. And yes, he's actually the driver in the tank. He said he didn't want to use a stunt driver. He majored in tank driving in college. In fact, it took us a while to convince him to come out of the tank. He only gave up because Mr. Krabs promised to give him the secret formula to the Krabby Patty. Sadly, just after Plankton came out, Mr. Krabs accidentally, uh -huh, dropped the book containing the formula right on Plankton's head, and Plankton had to be taken back to the chum bucket for rest and recuperation. Thanks for watching.